Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I've decided I'm going to show you what my at-home facial looks like using natural and vegan products. This is a wonderful self-care um, practice that you can do. So I'm beginning with a cleanse using my Burt's Bees Cream Cleanser. If you don't have that, I am looking to switch to my Castile Soap or Castile Soap, however you say it, cleanser, something that is natural and does not have too many ingredients. I do have a skin condition, I guess you could call it similar to eczema, but it's called perioral dermatitis, meaning that I have to be very careful about what I put on my face as it likes to be very picky and react to ingredients. So once I'm done cleansing my skin, I am doing an exfoliant. This is a physical exfoliator using granules. I'm just going to be exfoliating all around my face and then rinsing that off. Also, don't forget about those lips because now that it's winter, it's dry and our lips need a little love too. For my next step, I am going to be doing a herbal face steam. This is one of my favorite ways to incorporate herbs into my beauty routine. So for my face steam, I am using rose petals. This is red clover in the tea bag. I have it in a tea form, but it's just red clover. And then I am picking some rosemary to add to that. And for face steaming, you can buy products that essentially blow the steam onto your face during your facial. I do not have one of those, so I'm just doing the bowl method and adding boiling water on top Then to help lock in the steam um, and help it surround your face, you can always add a towel on top of your head, covering your head and the bowl. This is what I did off camera. It just felt a little weird to be filming myself with a towel over my head, <laughs> but this is a great way to still be able to get all of the benefits of a face steam. I will do my best to link all of the products I'm using down below in the description of the video, but this is a new uh, matcha clay mask that I've just recently purchased and been loving. I find it really helps wake up the skin with the matcha and it's just really a soothing mask and it hasn't irritated my skin whatsoever so I have really been loving it. Then I decided to hop back over my herbal face steam for a minute just to help soak in all of the goodness from the face mask. Then. While I let it dry, of course, hydrate. Hydration and drinking water is so important for healthy skin. And here I decided just to take some deep breaths and inhalations of a chamomile essential oil, really just to help calm my body down face mask is all dry and it's been left on for about 15 to 20 minutes then I remove it with this wonderful little sponge that actually came um, with the face mask just using warm water to gently remove all of the mask and the next herbal product that I'm going to be making and using is a herbal toner. So here I am using some rose petals again, calendula leaves, and just a little bit of the rosemary. I am mixing half a bottle of this herbal infusion, the other half a bottle with witch hazel. And together this creates a really nice nourishing, hydrating, and toning face mist. Then 
The first serum that I'm using is a high and low molecule hyaluronic acid. It also has niacinamide, vitamin C, vitamin E, aloe vera, green tea, tea tree, and panthenol, so it has a bunch of wonderful things. And then for a face oil, I make my own face oil just using rose hip oil with a mixture of jojoba oil and then I add essential oils to it as I desire. So I use those two oils in a 50-50 mix put into an amber bottle and then I just add whatever essential oils I'm feeling. And unfortunately, this video is not long enough for me to go into the benefits of every product. So go down below and read in the description. I'll write up a little bit more about why I use the products I do. Now, something that has been very interesting to me for a while now has been shade rollers and gua sha. So I've recently found myself uh, both of those items and have been just kind of self-practicing. I'm not trained, I don't really know how to properly and best use these products, but after going around on YouTube and doing a little bit of investigation, um, I've come up with a bit of a routine that so far I really like for myself. Again, I'll have benefits down below in the description of both gua sha and shade rolling. But essentially, they just help to depuff the face, help us to age gracefully by possibly removing fine lines and wrinkles. And I think above all, they really help to massage the skin and help lymphatic drainage, which is something I've talked about before, but can really help with that depuffing and kind of moving any stagnant water or puffiness out of our skin and here primarily in our face. When it comes to gua sha, you really want to make sure that you have a good face oil on so that you are not tugging or pulling on the skin. And also using a jade roller or rose quartz roller, you want to make sure that you have a very light hand, especially when going around the eyes like I'm doing here. You really don't need hardly any pressure. And I like to keep mine in the freezer, as you saw before, just because the cooling effect on the face is also just super soothing and beneficial for depuffing. I've actually had a few comments from my partner, and he said that I just look really awake in the morning when I do this first thing in the morning which I totally am surprised that he even notices, but I think it's great, especially as a daily practice. It's something you can do quickly. It really just helps my skin to feel re-energized and rejuvenated. Then, because it is winter and getting cold and dry out, I am using this Retinol Plus. Uh, it's basically just a heavier face cream, and I put that over top of the oils. Um, I don't put it all over my face. I think in this video I did because I did a face mask, which can be somewhat drying. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this face cream in particular, I am just using it up at the moment. Because it is so thick, it helps leave a protective barrier over my skin so that the moisture is locked in while I sleep. For good measure, I just go in with one more quick spray of my herbal toning mist. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and follow my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.